Remember that one friend? What happened? When did things change? So drastic? Everything that was real, so plastic? There was a point when we were close. Now that person's like a ghost. At most, the living dead. A true zombie, infested. Things said, directly neglected. Picked the poison instead. And I'm left wondering, all the years I've spent struggling but still supporting, did I do something to deserve the ignoring? Exploring the idea upsets me even more, because I wasn't told we don't talk like before. Everything is surface level, and when niceties run out, you bring up the devil. Then the inevitable anger and disappointment, the monetary moments, just apology ointment. But the feelings never died. For a while, they'd subside. Hell, I tried, but it hasn't been the same since you lied. The makeup attempts fell flat, because money never made up for that. And it never seemed sincere, because I would still have to hear the details of what happened and, of course, what comes next. My requests get stuck in a soundproof vacuum vortex. Oh, the pounding in my cerebral cortex. But even if you heard what I have to say, I would still play the bad guy anyway. Because how could something good be bad? The best good you've ever had. But have you heard what they say about too much? How it can warp your perception, leave you out of touch? Living to get your fix like you're fully addicted? But somehow I'm the one, by my own vices undone, too busy to spare time, unless it's convenient for me and mine, absent when needed near, overly expectant when here, but when support was needed, it was you who wasn't there. See, you can't just pick and choose. If you're too preoccupied with winning, who's left in your corner when you lose? If you're better without Boulder, then give me back my shoulder. Lean on someone else. I hope it helps. It won't, because you know you're in the wrong. But if you feel it's where you belong, then by all means, stay lurking. I can't make you a better person, but my silence sure as hell isn't working.